Welcome back to Faith and Wellness, and together we continue with Mary's Mental Consecration, a spiritual retreat for heaven's help. And uh, yesterday we talked about sacrifice, and we need to offer sacrifices because our sufferings can save souls like fasting like offering up our work we're doing the work but if we offer our work our work can have eternal value and can help souls now we are going to go to the 45th star mercy and we'll talk about mercy a little more but first we are going to do our prayer a prayer to begin oh most holy mother whom i love tenderly as my own in your sacred presence i offer to you these days of preparation for consecration in honor of the stars that adorn your heavenly mantle i appeal to you and for your intercession and i appeal for the inner i appeal for all the people that are doing mary's mantle and that will continue to join this channel, Faith and Wellness, to grow together in our faith and to intercede for others as well. And please also pray for me because I also need prayer. Please show me the sweet compassion that, you're sh that you shower upon San Juan Diego, your messenger. Please give me a pure, give us a pure virtuous heart like your own so that we may derive the same consolation the soothing of our pains and the lifting of our souls that Juan Diego received from the gentle words you gave to him centuries ago listen put it into your heart my dearest one the things that disturb you the things that afflict you are nothing do not let your countenance, your heart be disturbed. Do not fear any sickness nor anything that is sharp or hurtful. Am I not here? I, who am your mother, are you not in the hollow of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Do you need anything more? Sacrifice. God gave his life for us. He sacrificed. He underwent a lot of pain and suffering and in our lives we experience pain and also suffering and if we offer the pain and suffering for the salvation of souls it can have eternal dividends fasting beautiful beautiful sacrifice and the rewards from fasting are amazing today we will be talking about mercy come holy spirit guide us enlighten us give us wisdom and open our eyes and ears to see god's mercy in the last weeks and days of his life Jesus was met with indifference rage cowardice and betrayal the storms gathered around him and drew near whispering torturous threats as the Lord walked to his end he had every reason to feel embittered and indignant toward the human race an inevitable and unrestrained crescendo of hostility was intent upon discharging all of its brutal violence onto love himself what was love what was love's repose unfortunately mercy jesus did not withdrew from the scenes to seethe with resentment while his cherished people for whom he would willingly suffer a thousand deaths were crushing him with radical rejection 
His pain was never centered on himself. At no point during the Passion was Jesus wrapped up in his own experience, demanding recognition or an account from humanity. We never encounter him rubbing salt into the wounds of his frustration or relinquishing the bitter sweet fruit of self-pity as if were no other reality in the world except his future failures or as if history ought to be judged on the sole basis of his own misfortune. Even though he was the very eye of the storm, we see in the Gospels That, we, that he was entirely oblivious of self and forever reaching out to others. We were the reasons for his sufferings, and yet we were his sole concern. Jesus had a, had a careful word for his friends, turn traitor Judas. Are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? And you can find that in Luke chapter 22, verse 48. He showed concern that his disciples should not suffer the same fate as he. If you are looking for me, let this man go. And you find that in John chapter 18, verse 8. As he was being taken away to be slaughtered, he gently repaired the right ear of the high priest's servant, And we find that in Luke chapter 22, verse 51. To Peter tangled up in human weakness, he cast a saving glance. Luke chapter 22, verses 61. On the way to the cross, he gave a heartfelt warning to the woman who wept for him. And that's in Luke chapter 23, verses 28. To the good thief dying on the cross, he spoke the words, Every one of us longs to hear, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. And that's in Luke chapter 23, verse 43. If the crucible of unfathomable agony, he offered a tender gesture of protection and filial devotion, leaving his mother in the care of his beloved disciple, John. And you find that in the Gospel of John in chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. And at the heights of unspeakable physical pain and anguish of heart, Jesus worried most about his enemies. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And you find in this in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Therefore, as imitators of the one who who lived them among us and died for us? What reason do we have to refuse to love? And what excuse do we have for withholding mercy? Well, friends, I recorded the, um, the Passion of Christ as seen by Catherine Emmerich. And let me tell you, the mercy of God is so amazing. After seeing, listening, you know, and reading the book, and, and you can listen to the whole passion, and especially because Holy Week is coming up. And you can hear that any time of the year, because sometimes we need to look of the sufferings and how God, when he was on the cross, he did not think of himself. He did not, he didn't have any resentment. And he was thinking about his enemies, forgive them for they don't know what they do. And how he showed mercy to the good thief. Sometimes we are thieves because God is so merciful. And instead of focusing on things that are important, that have eternal dividends, that help us to live heaven on earth, 
<sighs> we lose track of what we're doing. But we just have to look at the mercy of God and practice being merciful. And whenever we are becoming bitter, whenever we are growing in resentment, whenever we are because of different situations that arise, let's remember how merciful God is, continues to be, and will always be merciful. And today, pray with me, Heavenly Father. Teach us and give us the grace to be merciful towards ourselves and all those that are around us and thank you for being merciful and give us the graces that we need to be merciful and to act merciful with our enemies as you did remember to pray also for those who don't have the grace of being merciful. And especially right now that we are, uh, you know, that the war with Ukraine and Russia is happening. Let's pray for mercy so that through the intercession, through fasting, through prayer, through the rosary, through all our spiritual practices, that Ukraine can have victory and Russia can repent and have mercy on the Ukraine. And only you, God, through your mercy, you can stop this war. Tomorrow, we will be talking about the 46th star, which is also called Fear of the Lord, one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. So we will talk about fear of the Lord, and we are getting close to the end. Actually, that will be the end. And then the prayer of consecration to Mary. And... Um, I'm going to be reading all those prayers so you can do them. And I'm also in the inbox. I'm going to the description. I'm going to type in there so you can print them out. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you because my wish for you is that this Mary's Mantle Consecration will not be a one-time event but something life altering, something that will change your prayer life permanently and that you remember all those little stars and put into practice and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. And, uh, you know, this has been amazing. And also share. If you have not subscribed to my channel, share these beautiful stars. If you really look about, uh, on it, this is just all the pillars that come in our character education. As humans, we are in this earth to work on our character. And through Mary's mantle consecration, you learn all those pillars to put into practice. And tomorrow we'll talk about the last of the stars and then... We will also, and then on the 47th day, we will do the um, consecration. And please make sure that you go to confession, go to mass, and get some earbuds. If, if you don't make a copy, you can go to YouTube. And you can, if you can, after... You have go to confession, you go to Mass, you do your consecration to Mary. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. And also, if you can buy fresh flowers for Mama Mary, that would be 
that would be so so amazing well thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow for our 46 star and then i will have a final video of the consecration thank you and may god bless you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen remember to subscribe and share